Hello, uh, very good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for providing such a platform to showcase our work. So my name is Ahmad Omar. Uh, I'll be presenting our work on behalf of our team. Uh, our study aims to explore uh, the potential of cities and scientists to estimate a uh, hornbill population and evaluate their effectiveness in conducting distance sampling protocol. So this attempt uh, is a first of its kind uh, to involve citizen science uh, in hornbill density estimation. Uh, our study area was Peria Tiger Reserve. Uh, we had 29 base camps across different habitats uh, from evergreen moist deciduous to grasslands. And coming to methodology, uh, we have surveyed from uh, February 9th to 12th and we had 110 citizen scientists and they have surveyed 59 transects and covering a total of 322 kilometers square. And we have used uh, distance sampling uh, with two kilometer long line transects and we have provided a range finder device and combers for taking the required readings. And coming to the findings, uh, we have got 48 great hornbill detections and 114 Malabar gray hornbill detections. And the graph shows uh, the frequency of detection across the distance band. And here the figure shows the detection probability uh, for both the species. And uh, you can see two species had slightly different detection functions. And here's the mean estimates for both the species. Uh, we got one to 12, one to two great hornbill, uh, two hornbill and uh, three to four Malabar gray hornbill per square kilometer. And in this analysis, we haven't done the habitat wise segregation. Uh, we are working on it and uh, uh, it'll be available in the final report. And looking at the hornbill densities across various protected areas in India, our results seem lower than other areas. Um, the possible reason could be the timing of the survey, uh, which coincided with the breeding, se breeding season for both species, where uh, very fewer individuals were there for detection. So there, there were several uh, factors which might have influenced the survey. One is time of the survey. Uh, we have discussed that in the previous slide. And one positive aspect of the survey was um, unlike the usual bird surveys, uh, we provided uh, citizen scientists an, ex uh, an opportunity experience and they learn a new uh, method for data collection. Uh, but since most of them were new to this method, uh, it might have slightly impacted the accuracy of the final outcome. Uh, anyway, despite all these challenges, we could highlight the potential of uh, citizen scientists uh, in data collection, monitoring, and uh, density estimation, uh, which would provide uh, very valuable data for future conservation efforts. Uh, and we hope we could continue this effort, uh, hornbill monitoring exercise in the coming years, uh, which would help us understand the population trends and changes in patterns. With that, uh, I would like to thank all the organizations and forest officials uh, for the support and logistical help and Praveen Jay for, for all his guidance and Kelabar monitoring team for the support. And we immensely thank all the citizen scientists uh, who contributed to data collection. And with that, thank you. Thank you so much for listening.